something that the minister said which I agree with him uh, very uh, strong. Uh, participate in campaigns in the United States, in Canada, wherever you are. But I would like to emphasize that in a not that Hafiz Kula Mesha Idegin, Hafiz Mano Washington Kula. Hafiz Kawan Tagata. Hafiz can, can I add one thing to that? Okay. Very important point. As good an ambassador as uh, Bashir is, the real ambassadors of Somaliland are you guys. Most Americans, we all know, most Americans have never heard of Somaliland. We have to sell for that. So it's your responsibility to carry the flag of your country and talk up your issues and your priorities to the American public. I'm not going to add very briefly to that. Um, my focus is writing, and what I would argue is that debating people online is a complete and utter waste of time. Yeah. All the energy should be focused, write letters to the editor, submit op-eds, not to Somalia or Somalilander publications, but to American publications to build up that awareness. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Okay, take it to post. An important question to you from the network. Please. It seems that Somaliland has good relations with the United States conservative organizations and members of the Republican Party. The question is, the question is, what can Somaliland do? And it is leaders and mission to build better relations with the Biden administration and the Democratic Party. Okay, that's a great question because support for Somaliland has to be bipartisan. Happily it is. While there may be an impression that conservative organizations have been more sympathetic, there's two reasons for this. One, we're out of power right now, and so we're freer to speak. But that doesn't mean that my colleagues on the left aren't as sympathetic. Yeah. Second of all, when it came to the congressional delegation, it may have skewed much more toward the Republicans, but that had nothing to do with Somaliland itself. It had to do with some of the domestic Democratic concerns with regard to COVID. But many of the Democratic staffers were just as interested, and I suspect that there's going to be more bipartisan um, delegations in the months and in the years to come, that I don't see this as a problem right now, because behind the scenes, the appearance of partisanship 
doesn't reflect the reality, and the fact is that you have a bipartisan groundswell for Somalia. <laughs> Ambassador Nash, what can you suggest, given your experience, that the Somaliland government can do to lobby and build cordial relations with countries in the African Union? Wow. <laughs> that, 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 that is a tough one. You know, I represent the United States of America when I was in, as a diplomat and when I was assistant secretary, not the African Union. The African Union is going to be a tough sell, I'll be honest with you, because you look at the history of the African Union and they're not very easy to make uh, dramatic changes. And I mean, you look at the history of uh, what happened with South Sudan. You know, everybody was in favor of South Sudan. It was going to be a country that was going to absolutely succeed. And look at the, the tragedy, what happened. A good